In this video, we're going to look at an application or a word problem with function composition. And so, in this particular situation, it says a hiker is missing, and the search and rescue teams are determining the area in which to search. The hiker can hike at an estimated three miles per hour. So, our first little sub problem says write the function, and we're going to call that f of h, which would be the distance the hiker could hike in h hours. Well, it gives us some information in the problem that helps us with this. It says the hiker can hike an estimated three miles per hour. So therefore, the, the distance they could have traveled could be given by this function. If you take the number of hours that have passed and multiply it by three, that's the number of miles he could have traveled. So there's our f of h function. But then it says give the g of x function, which would give the potential search area given the hiker traveled x miles. And so here's what we got to think about. Pick, picture what's happening here. So when a hiker gets lost, they're off the trail, obviously. So if here's where a hiker is seen last, he could have gone in that direction, he could have gone in that direction, he could have come here, he could have come here, meaning our search area is going to be roughly circular shaped. Okay? And so that would mean that if, um, and let me kind of come back here, this x, this radius of the circle, is the number of miles he could have traveled in that time. So if we last saw him here, here in the middle, he could have gone x miles that way, or x miles that way, or x miles that way, with x being the radius of this circle. So this area, this entire kind of shaded area here, could be given by g of x, which is pi times the radius squared. Okay, this is just the formula for area of a circle. But now it's saying find g of f of h and determine its meaning in terms of this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our g of x function, and then we're going to substitute our f function into it. So we have our g of x function, which is pi times x squared, but anywhere we see the x, we're going to do our function composition and substitute in 3h. And so you don't necessarily have to, but if you wanted to simplify a little bit, we could do pi times 9h squared, which is what um, this would become when you square the 3 and square the h. And if you wanted to rearrange, you could, um, but I, I'll just leave it as, I'll, actually I'll just leave it as it shows. So our composite function is this. And, and think about what we're getting. We're putting in an input, which is time, but then our output is going to be an area, meaning if three hours have passed, let's kind of work this out. So if we have g of f of 3, that would mean three hours have passed. And if I actually work that out, pi times 9 times 3 squared, that would be um, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 9 is 81, and 81 times pi is 81 pi. But that would tell us that that's how many square miles to search. And so if we have our input, which is an h value, our output is going to be, um, actually let me write it this way, our input is a time, it's an h value, and our output is an area. So if we know how long ago it was when this hiker was spotted, we know how much time has passed, then we know the area that we have to search. This could be a super helpful tool for a search and rescue team.